is up Stackin' Ohana, this is Aloha Stacker and welcome back to the channel and another video and in today's video we are doing a Libertad update. So I've got a whole bunch of awesome new Libertads to show off and I cannot wait to show them all to you. But first as usual we got a couple pieces of channel mail to go through and we're going to start with this one right here and this is from our friend Silver Scorpion and check out these cool stickers that Silver Scorpion has sent me. Sent me the original and the hollow. Very cool. Thank you very much, Silver Scorpion. These are really awesome stickers. Uh, I hope you got mine. And wow, I love that. I love that design. Silver Scorpion. Oh, that's bad. That is just badass. All right. That is awesome. Thank you very much, my friend. Let me go ahead and put these up here for the time being. And we only got one other one here. And oh, you rec probably recognize that. That is a OK sign. And this is from our friend, Yankee Stacking. And Yankee Stacking has written... Thanks for your support, Yankee. So thank you very much, Yankee. I appreciate the sticker. My first one of that. And that is it for the channel mail today, everybody. So let me go ahead and get these out of here. And then we will jump right in to what we're talking about today. And we're going to start with, before we get to the Libertads, we're going to talk about the predecessor to the Libertad, the Mexican Onza, the one ounce sterling silver coin. It weighs a little bit more than an ounce, but it is one ounce of silver. I'm going to show you my collection first. And the first one we have, let me go ahead and do a zoom. We're going to show you is the 1978 Mexican Onza. Now this is the first uh, in the series after the 1949. So this is when they started remaking these in 1978. And there's two types of the 78. So on this on this side, there are two types. And uh, so there's a type one and a type two. And here we got the scales. But on this side, this is the side that has the difference. Now it's right here where you see the word casa and day. So in between the day and the moneda. There's more space on the type two. So this is a type one and the type one looks pretty normal. And then the type two, the C in Casa is much closer to the top of this right here, to the press. And the day is more separated from the moneda. So I am missing that one. Unfortunately, I thought I had a complete collection, but I am missing the type two. So that's okay. I got something to shoot for. So if you've got a type two, 1978 Mexican Onza with the space between the day and the moneda and the C closer to the press, let me know. I'm willing to trade or purchase. So thank you very much if you've got that. And let me know in the in the comments or send me an email. So that's the 1978. Following the 1978 was the 1979, in which there are also type two types, a type three and a type four. Now the difference on this one is actually on this side, where the where the uh, weight scale here actually has it's now it's pointing directly to the U. This one is between the U and the N. So one type has one pointing to the U, the other one has to the U and the N. So I have one of these pointing in between the U and the N. So this is, I believe the type, I think it's the type three. So this is the type three, or this is the type four, I believe. So this is the type four. And I actually have two of these. So I have one more Mexican Onza, same style right there. So I have two of those types. So we have two 1970s and then there's a 1980. And this is what's considered a type five. Now, how I was talking about how the uh, the scale is pointing to the U, you see how this, where the scale is at? So basically what we're looking at here is a 79 and an 80. And in an 80, it's pointing to the U. And in the type three is pointing to the in between. And then on the type four should be pointing to the U. And I don't have that one. Well, maybe I do. We'll see that in a second. But there's a 79 and an 80. So they only made this series from 1970. So they only made the series up until 1980. So you got, so you basically got, you got a 78, you got a 79 and an 80 right here. So and I got two of these 79s, but I got some good news. I've got a couple new ones to show off. So we'll go ahead and show off what's new. And the first one I have is this 1979 right now. And this is, check this out. This is the type four. So as I, as you can see on the 79, it is a little bit different. Look where the, look where the scale touches the U. And look how it here it is between the U and the N. So I now have that missing type. So let's go ahead and put that into a capsule. I've got a capsule right here. Let's get it encapsulated and out of these little flips. I like the capsules much better. Uh, you can observe the coin in a much cleaner way. So let's get this in here. Give me a quick second, my friends. And we will get this in here and rock and roll. So there we go. Casa de Moneda, 1979 in Mexico. We got the press and the scales. And now we have the type four. So now I have the type, all the types except for the one 1978. But there's something interesting I wanted to tell you about. So before the 1978 release of the Mexican Onza, there was a 1949. 
And in the 19 and the reason that in 1949 they came out with this is because 1949 Mexico did not produce any coins with silver in them. Uh, they didn't produce any, so they made they made the one this one Mexican onza to cover down for the coins that didn't have silver in them. And I just happened to get one of them. So here it is in 1949 Casa de Moneda. Mexican onza and check that out and it is different looking so I'll give you an example here's the 1978 here's the 1949 check out check out the differences the Mexico City mint symbol is here there's not one here then the year is up here on the left side uh, going around the uh, circle as this one is placed flat and then on this side and if we flip it over to the scale side Oh, that's another thing. See, see how it back flips just straight straight across. On this one, it doesn't. See, so that's kind of interesting too, right? And this one says uh, one ounce troy, so una onza troy equals four hundred eighty granos or grains of plata. Where this doesn't say it like that. This says lay nine two five. The lay nine two five is right here. It also has the the net weight, but the weight is down here instead of up here. So that is pretty neat. And then the Casa de Moneda, the Mexico City symbol sign is right there. So that is cool. And that's the house of money. And that's where they make the money, the Casa de Moneda. So that's pretty cool. So the coins are, are just a little bit different. So the 1949 is the only year that they produced this, this style coin before moving on to 1978. And I've also got a capsule for this. So let me get this encapsulated for you. So we can all enjoy that in, in its new home as well. And then I will have pretty much, I will have all the years, but I will be missing one for the collection. I'll be missing the one type from 1978. I don't know how hard that's going to be to get. I hope it's not a really expensive year to pick up. Uh, the, the, my original 78 wasn't that expensive, so I'm hoping that the type isn't. So there it is, all encapsulated, looking very nice. And remember, this one flips this way. Pretty crazy that that flips that way. And then the newer onsas flip this way. So that's pretty cool. So I hope you learned something new about the onsas, but there it is, 1949. 1978. We got the two. We got the two sets of 1979s with the two different, with the two different scale locations, pointing to the U's. So that is really, really neat. And then I got one extra 79, and then I've got the 1980. So that encompasses every year. So I've got myself a good set of Mexican onzas. I'm missing one for the set, so I do have an extra 79. So if somebody wants to trade a 79 for that 78 that I'm missing, hook me up. I really appreciate that. So that's cool. Let me go ahead and line these up along the bottom. We're going to go back to, uh, we'll zoom back out real quick. And get these lined up nicely. And then we're going to move on to Libertads. So let's go ahead and move on to Libertads. So Libertads. Let's go ahead and zoom back in. So as you know, I've been missing a bunch of Libertads from my Dansko book. So I've got the Dansko book right here. Actually, let me zoom back out for that. So here's the Dansko. Here's the Dansko book right here. And as you saw in the previous live stream where we filled the Dansko, you know, we've got, you know, we're missing the 87, the 91, 92. Basically, I'm missing a bunch of years, right? So I've got, miss, I've got the 96, the 98, and then we've got the 2004 missing, the 6, the 11, and then we're missing the 13, 15, 17, 18, and 20. Now, I have a lot of those years, but because they're slabbed, I didn't want to put them in the, uh, in the book. So what we're going to do now is I was able to acquire a bunch, so let's go ahead and check out what we got. So the first one I picked up, give me a quick second, let me get these set up across the bottom so it's easier for me to, uh, to do. So the first one we have right here is the, let's get this, <laughs> flip it around, there we go. The 1987, I got a 1987, and the mintage on the 87 is only 500,000. So out of the 80 series, this is the lowest minted one from the 1980s. This is a beauty right here. This one's beautifully uncirculated. So that is a very beautiful coin. So, and then the next one I acquired was in 2011. And the 2011 had 1 1.2 million minted. So these are all going to go in the book. I accidentally picked up two of 2011s because I wasn't paying attention and I actually bought two of them. So that's cool. So I now have an extra one to trade for some missing years if anybody's interested. We got a 2013. Had 774,100 of these minted. So that is a beauty. And then we've got uh, a 2015, and that has 903,000 minted. So these aren't rare years, but they are missing in my book. I got a 2017 here with 636,000 minted. Once again, not a rare year. Let's go ahead and see that in the back, but uh, go ahead and show that later when we bust it into the book. 
And then we've got a 2018. Now this is 300,000 minted, so much, much less here. So nice looking coin. And then we got ourselves the 2020 to put into the book. Now the 2020, there's a story that goes behind the 2020. So I was able to trade for this 2020 with uh, with double odd buck 671. So he sent me a letter, he says, Afa Adai, Aloha Stacker. Here is that 2020 Libertad for your album. Beautiful album. I'm glad to help out. Keep up the awesome and informative videos, brother. Thank you for your service. And that's from Double Up Buck 671 from the island of Guam. And I did not know he lived there, but I got the. But when we traded, I gave him, a, I think I, we traded four half dollars for this. So $2 in constitutional. So that was a good deal for both of us. He wanted the constitutional. I just needed the 2020 for my book, and he hooked me up. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is now that we have all these new coins, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here. I'm gonna go ahead and put them all into the dance go and then I will be right back and show you the book all filled up. So stand by for that, I will be right back. All right, everybody, we are back and here it is, the book with all the new fill-ins. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at what we got. So now we have the 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, the brand new 87, we have 88, 89, 90. We're missing 91, 92. So if, so if anybody's got those and they want to trade, let me know or sell. We have a 93. So that book is, this page is only missing two now. Then we have the 94, 95. We're missing the 96. Uh, we have the 97. We're missing the 98 and the 99. So if anybody's got an extra 96 or 98, which I know is a tough one to find, let me know. And then we've got 2000, 2001, 2002. So that page is also missing only two. So moving on, we're missing the 2004, but we have 2003, 2005. We're missing the 6 and 7, but we have the 8. We have the 9, the 10, and now we have the 11, which was placed in today. So this page is only missing 3. And then moving on to the last page, we have the 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So we now have this entire page filled, and we were able to add the 2020, the 2018, the 2017, the 2015, and the 2013. So that is pretty awesome. This book is almost full. It's only missing a total of three, five, seven. So the whole book is only missing seven years of Libertads now. So if you are if you have one of those missing years, please let me know. I'm willing to trade or purchase those and get this book filled because that is really, really awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that book away now. Let's move on to the color eyes. So I've got some new color eyes Libertads. So let's go ahead and zoom in and let's go ahead and show off what we've got. Let me go ahead. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move the camera up a little bit so we can check out some other colorized ones in the background while we're pulling out. So I've got this one first right here. It is a 2019 landscape. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and show it to you. So there it is right there. Check that out. This is number 50. 2019, they only minted 402,000 Libertads. I don't know how many of these they made. Uh, it doesn't say on the package, but most of the colorized seem to be tapped out around 500. So check that out. That is a beautiful sunrise. And on the back, it looks like it's gold gilded. So it looks like we've got some gold gilding on the back. I gotta be careful because it will fall out of the stand if I'm not careful. These things are kind of fragile. I'll get this into a capsule after the video. I don't wanna touch it. So look at that. That is an absolute beautiful, beautiful colorized Libertad. And it goes really good with a lot of these others in the set. There are all those other ones from there from 2019 as well. And it comes in these little neat little flips. I know I haven't taken off the outer stickers or anything because I don't really want to mess with it. So it comes in this really neat looking case with this bomb. But I don't, but you know, I prefer to put it in a capsule and then have it there for your, for your viewing pleasure. So we will leave this here. Let's go ahead and pull out the second one. Now the second one, if you joined me on a live stream not too long ago, I showed off this case. And actually I remember I did a giveaway where if you had guessed what was in here, I think I won, I think the Platinum Beast won that. He won a uh, one-tenth ounce uh, St. Guinea, or St. Helena Guinea. So that was cool. So that's without further ado, let's go ahead and check out what we will be dealing. Now here is the paper that comes into it, a Certificate of Authenticity, Crystal Skull, and it says Mexican Libertad, year 2018, one onza, three nines fine. It's got the diameter thickness, it's BU, and its number of the mintage is 500, but only 175 were minted. Now in this case, I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the case. It comes in this nice styrofoam case, but let me check, but check this out. How cool is that? So this is uh, 2018. Now in 2018, only 300,000 Libertads were minted, but only 500 were painted with this design. Check out the piece of the crystal skull right here. You got a crystal skull on here. You've got what looks like the uh, Day of the Dead scenario going on. 
but check this out on the back. They painted the em the uh, the emblem. So that is really cool. I love the coloring on that. They did a really good job. That must have been really, really hard to colorize because it's so small. The details are really small. So check that out. That is a beauty. And that goes really good with uh, this style right here. See, they both come in very similar cases. See how they put the planets on here? And then they did the same with the crystal skull. So that is an absolute beauty. So this is my set and I added another colorized. Now, Libertad's are my favorite coin that I've seen colorized. Now, there are some that I don't really care for that much, but when I see one that I think is pretty neat, I go for it. And this one is neat. And plus, I don't know if you noticed, but this 2018 is antiqued. This is an antique Libertad. So this is not, so if you look at the 2019 here, this is not, oh wait, this one's gold gilded. Let me find one that's not gold gilded real fast. Here we go. So here is a 2019 not, see the difference? See how it's, you can see the antiquing on this side? Look at the, uh, so look at the Libertad, so you can see the antiquing. How much more detail you can grab out of the antique picturing. So that is really neat. So I didn't actually, this was actually caught on my live stream. Somebody had called this out as being antique and I didn't realize it at the time, but uh, it definitely is antique and it is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Libertad. So we'll add that to, this, to the uh, new Libertad. Let me see if I can figure out a way to kind of lean that. There we go, so you can catch that. Now I got one more. And this one I, I did with a trade with uh, our friend Silver Soldier of Fortune, who sent me this sticker. And he wrote me a nice letter and he says, hey, aloha. Sorry, this is kind of basic packaging. I wanted to get this to you as fast as possible, brother. Hope you enjoy it, Silver Soldier of Fortune. So he sent me that letter because he knows that I am moving soon and he wanted to make sure I got this in time. And I did, and this one comes in a cool case called Art Color Collection. And it comes in this really interesting case. You open it up, you've got a certificate of authenticity, which I'll show you first. So we got Certificate of Authenticity, Art Color Collection, Libertad de los Muertos of the Dead. And there, it shows you what it's gonna look like. Specifications, Silver Mexico Libertad, Ruthenium, Plated and Colored. Three nines fine silver, only 500 minted or painted. Uh, with five, with this is serial number 81, and in 2018, remember there's only 300,000 minted, so that was already a low minted year for normal Libertads. It comes in this really nice case, and check that out. Let's go ahead and pull it out and show it off up close. And there it is. Check that out. This goes perfect with my Day of the Dead uh, skulls that I got from Monarch Precious Metals, my 10 ounce and my 2 ounce uh, pours, which are absolutely stunning. But this is cool because next time on Halloween, we'll be able to pull this out and put this up with those. So check that out. That is absolutely beautiful. I wonder if this one is, I wonder if this one is, uh, this one doesn't look antique, right? Like the other one. So this is the antique coloring. Does this look antique to everybody? It's hard to tell. I don't think so. I think this is, this one's antique. This one I don't think is. Because this one's got really, really sharp uh, feathers here. And this one's not quite as sharp, I don't think, on the, if you look. Yeah. I think this is the standard uh, Libertad. The BU version. So, but anyway, it's still awesome. Look at the painting color on that. It's just absolutely phenomenal. Thank you, Silver Soldier of Fortune, for trading with me. I traded him. Uh, I traded him a double capsule Fafnir. So we got two Fafnirs in, in the dual capsule. This isn't all I got for it. On Sunday's video, I'll show you the rest of the stuff that he sent me for this. But this was one of the items that I got sent in that trade. So I think we both made out. It was I, fair, I think it was fair and equal. And uh, but you know he knows I'm a Libertad fiend. We actually bid against each other on an auction for this. And I got a phone call from work and I missed the end of the auction. We were actually battling each other on this and he had, and then I had to leave and he won. So once he won, his first comment was, I got something Aloha Stacker once, I can't, now, I'm, now we get to trade. And he was absolutely right. Because as, as, as soon as I got back in there and I saw who won, I was like, yes, I can trade that with my, with my boy Silver Soldier of Fortune and, and we can both get things that we want. Because I knew he was looking for Fafnir's, so I hooked them up and we hooked each other up. So thank you very much, my friend. I really appreciate it. That is, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Another beautiful Libertad, uh, colorized Libertad. And this one's really cool because we got the uh, Day of the Dead stuff on here. So Dia de los Muertos, and I got, and it goes along really well with some of my pores. So thank you very much, my friend. I really appreciate it. Let's get that down here. So that is what I've got today, everybody. That is the updated Libertads, and I hope you enjoyed it because we got some really cool stuff. I mean, as you know, I, I am a Libertad, uh, <laughs> I am a Libertad collector. It is my favorite coin, and uh, I've got just got to add a whole bunch more. We got the Dance Go heavily, heavily filled out. Uh, we're only missing seven. Looks like we're missing the years. Let me just do a quick show off real quick, and we can. So here are the years that I'm missing. I'm missing the '91. The 92, the 96, the 98, 2004, 2006, and 2007. So if any of you have those years, extra ones of those years, and you want to trade, let's hit me up. Let's do it. That would be awesome. But that's all I got today, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you on Sunday for all my new silver editions over the last week. 
And with that, I'm going to tell you aloha and mahalo.